What you talking about? Tell me what you take. Hey, you know the score. Sierra is the sports fade. Pushing up the court with reports from the troops. Back Truesdale, new recruits, football, track and field. With sports from the Morpheus, Richard Walker, the guru. In the tunnel, bringing news. And this ain't Monday morning quarterbacking. It's every Sunday, all the latest stats in. Facts in. Games connected, respected. It's on the radio. Oh, yes, it's time. Tune in to the tunnel. It's time to tune in to the tunnel. It's time to tune in to the tunnel. It's time to tune in to the tunnel. What's up, H Town? Welcome to the End of Tunnel Sports Talk Show. I'm your host, Sierra Nicole, aka Sports Bay, and I got Pat the Truth Truesdale. What's up, everybody? And I got Rich the Great, the Great Sports Morphist. Yeah, what's, what's up? Man, today we are at Over Under Sports Bar, and this is our first annual Super Bowl, man. Like. Can we get a round of applause yeah. for that? Like, what? I feel like I we feel do like nine more, and we'll be like Tom Brady. Yeah. I, I feel like Ricky playing in the Super Bowl, like Rodney Hampton did. You know, when he played with the Giants. That's how I feel like. It was in the house right there. So Man, I'm excited I, about the show. I like this new spot. Yes. I love it. Yeah. I like we got on tap beer. I'm, I'm drinking a, a Love Street. What you drinking over there? I got the whole field advantage right here. <laughs> I got the water right now. I love y'all two guys' shirt, though. Oh yeah, because what happened with your shirt? Oh, you know, I, you know, I forgot it, but he knew it was damn laundry. That's what it is. It's, it's still represented by the prep, so got to show I got my best shirt on. You know, the best talent scout shirt every day. So what's going on? What we got? Man, you know, we always got to get into our hot tamales, but before we get into that. Uh, you know, we're always going to take a moment to remember the people that have graced this wonderful earth and, and gone. So first on our list, we have Mr. Leon Spinks. Mm. Leon Spinks. Man. Legend. I remember I was a kid. I got my teeth knocked out. My cousins called me Leon Spinks. He didn't even know <laughs> for no teeth in his mouth. But he was a bad boy. You know, he upset Ali. Won his heavyweight champion. But in 1978, I'm so not. that was that was what he was known for. That's when he yeah, that's when he became yeah. popular. Yeah, yeah. There are not too many guys that walk around that can say that they beat Muhammad Ali. Exactly. Right. And he did do that. You know, straight out of St. Louis, tough the streets out of St. Louis. I forgot what the housing problem was, so it was pretty tough. You know? Of course, you know he had a brother, it was a boxer won a championship too. But actually his brother was the one that fell down in what three seconds, Rich. Against against Mike, Tyson. He got knocked out by the air for the punch. Yeah. The Tyson threw. I guess you know he got that big check, so he was just, hey, let hey, me just go in there and fight. Run me my money. Yeah, I remember reading. I remember reading an article that I was supposed to illustrate. His uh, daughter, not, Mike Tyson, was a monster. Like, Dad, please don't fight that monster. You know, <laughs> and he fell out. Man, but I mean, like condolences to his family. But like we always say, we like to. I love it when I see these people when they have passed and they left something behind. He definitely left a lot of things behind. He was inducted into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. He played in the Olympics. He, um, you know, he beat Muhammad. I mean, he was a heavyweight champ. He's going to be remembered forever. So yeah, he, went a lot of um, he lived a great life. Yeah. It's great. 14 yeah. knockouts. I mean, hey. Yeah. All right. So now we got Butch Reed. He was. I out. saw Butch Reed. Oh. Thanks. Tell him, tell us about it. Talk about it. I didn't know he played football in Central Missouri, Rich. Yeah, he yeah. did. He played, yeah, played football in Central Missouri. Yeah, spent some time with Kansas City Chiefs. Hmm. Yeah. Condolences to his family and friends. I always wonder, like, how come they never, how come we never get reported on how they passed? Because I'm always curious. Was it? Well, well sometimes, sometimes I do. Like, Leo Spinks, he had cancer. He was he had cancer. Yeah. having a couple of uh, illness. I remember reading about it a couple of years ago. Bobby, but Bush, like I said, this shocked me. I didn't know Bush Reed died. You know, so uh, man, from what I understand, Bush Reed had heart problems. Mm. Mm -hmm. right. Well, condolences to those guys. Uh, they lived a great life. They left things on this earth that will never be forgotten. So to me, they lived a great life. So let's jump into these hot tamales. Uh, everybody love hot tamales. Yeah, let's go. We really don't. I mean, I feel like the hot topic all across. The United States right now is the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so that's what we got on the list. Um, man, I, I'm, I'm glad we moved the show up, like we talked about, so that we can all actually watch the game. Right, definitely. So this is gonna be a big game. I'm excited about it. Personally, you know, you got the young goat versus the old goat. You know, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. You know, and the crazy thing is that the only thing I hate is this: is the first 
time you have a team uh, uh, stay in their hometown for the Super Bowl. And, and no fans. And no fans. <laughs> That's so cold. But especially our places like in Tampa Bay. I mean, and I, and I think everybody wants this, the young old person, the old girl. You know, everybody wants to see this. So I think it's going to be a high scoring game. You know, I'm, I'm going with Tampa Bay. You know, I got to go with my boy B Love, Byron Leverage, off the squad. I love the head coach. You have two of the best offensive minds in mm-hmm. football calling plays. You have Bruce Arians and, of course, Andy Reid. Those offense coordinators, Eric B. Enemy and, um, you know, Leftwich call a place, man. This is going to be a high scoring, high paced game. Yeah. You know, I, I feel bad because, you know, Andy Reid has some issues. His son got in the car accident Thursday night. And his five year old son in the car. He got hurt pretty bad. Uh, said he was drinking. I know he went through some things with both his boys. So, and he said he really focused about the game. So, you know, that's a great, I hate to see that happen in the end. such a great guy. You know, he's a, he's a coach I always believe in giving players second and third chances. Right. You know, that's, a, that's, that's a big distraction to have. Uh, uh, yeah. The, Super Bowl. The night before the game. Yeah. 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 He focused. He's definitely on the mind of the game. So what do you think that Tampa will have to do in order to close, to come out with this game on top? Keep that quarterback off the field. I mean, yeah. They score so fast, you got to keep them on the field. I mean, Kansas City got to do the same thing too, but Tampa got they more hands for them. Well, I think the key to me is the amount of pressure that they can put on Mahomes. Take yes. advantage of the fact that they had their starting left tackle and their starting right tackle out today. That's that's big. So yeah. if they can find a way to get pressure off the edges, make Mahomes get rid of the football quickly because the longer he holds on to that football – the more dangerous he is. Yeah. Well, I don't understand why the organization does the job. You know, you test your barber. Right. They put they put the blank on him, but we don't know what went on with that. Come on, they should have had that together. The Super Bowl. Yeah, two weeks. Come on, Rich. That's really not that long. It's really not that long. <laughs> two weeks, not a long time ago, by really fast. What I'm saying is, you especially get, when you're about to play uh, the Super Bowl. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. They should have had that last week. All right, guys, we're about to go to a commercial break, but I do want to let you guys know that this show is sponsored by Over Under Sports Bar and Grill. We're out here in Webster, Texas. It's a nice setup, nice bar. We're also sponsored by VIP Elite Motors. As y'all know, the taxes are coming. If you need a new car, you need to look in, uh, look into see what they got. You can go visit them online on VIPEliteMotors.com and look up, see what they got in stock for you. And last but not least, we got two new sponsors. Uh, well, attorney, uh, Michael K. Slider, attorney, like, he's not new, but I always like to promote him because, you know, we be out there doing things that we shouldn't be doing. Uh, like Super Bowl Sunday, if you get caught tonight with a DUI, hit your boy up because he can get you out of it. Uh, no, we're doing no jail time. So, you know, if you Somebody guys... Takes- Somebody takes Warren Sapp his number right now. <laughs> if y'all uh, if y'all get caught doing the wrong thing tonight, y'all know who to hit up. And former NFL player, mm, help me with this one. Who is our new sponsor? Oh, you have to tell me about him. I don't. Lemonhead. Please enlighten me. Former Chicago, former, former Chicago Bear. The sponsor just right here. Great guy, great guy in the community. Is this one of you guys' friends? Yes, yeah, that friend might be on soul. Okay, so I'm yeah. just trying to figure out you. Yeah, go right there. You, so you're supposed to tell the world about him. I'm trying to oh, tell him. We're going to bring him on in the next episode. Tell us about your boy. Travis Southern Side, Texas, worldwide. We got a lot to talk about. All right, guys. Well, we'll be right back. We'll be able to introduce you to one of our sponsors when we come back. Oh. VIP Elite Motors is dedicated to offering high-quality pre-owned vehicles for their customers. From the moment you walk through their door, they're committed to providing you with a great car buying experience. With the skilled sales staff and financing options, they will help you get the vehicle that you want at the great price that you deserve. Go to their website, www.vipelitemotors.com, to pre-qualify without affecting your credit score. No social security number required. Browse their extensive inventory online and check out the featured vehicle section on the homepage. If you see a vehicle that you like, you can submit an online quote request or you can contact them to schedule a test drive. 
Give VIP Elite Motors a call today, 281-471-2800. That's 281-471-2800. They're at 1204 West Main Street in LaPorte. And tell them that In the Tunnel sent you to get your new ride. Small business, big business. In the Tunnel is here for you and all your advertisement needs. For as little as a dollar a day. Call us now, 832-245-1050. In the tunnel, 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 sports talk. Ooh. In the tunnel, sports talk with the true Truesdale. Sierra the Sports Bay and Rich the Great Sports Morpheus. Tune in Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. VIP Elite Motors is dedicated to offering high quality pre owned vehicles for their customers. From the moment you walk through their door, they're committed to providing you with a great car buying experience. With the skilled stale sales staff and financing options, they will help you get the vehicle that you want at the great price that you deserve. Go to their website, www.vipelitemotors.com, to pre-qualify without affecting your credit score. No social security number required. Browse their extensive inventory online and check out the featured vehicle section on the homepage. If you see a vehicle that you like, you can submit an online quote request or you can contact them to schedule a test drive. Give VIP Elite Motors a call today, 281-471-2800. That's 281-471-2800. They're at 1204 West Main Street in LaPorte. And tell them that In the Tunnel sent you to get your new ride. Tune in to the Tunnel Talk is too real. Talk about sports with the truth, Truesdale. Sports bait in the great sports morphias. Listen up and talk about sports with us. This that sports flow. We talking sports, bro. All sorts, though. Tune in to the sports show. All sports, all stats. I'm an all star. Championship MVP. Who gonna ball hard? What's your favorite sporting team? I'm asking y'all. Baseball, football, or is it basketball? Getting money is my sport, so I have to ball. In the tunnel, it's the best show ever. In the tunnel, 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 sports talk. Ooh. What's up, H Town? We are back. We're here at the Over Under Sports Bar. I'm your host, Sierra Nicole, aka Sports Bay. I got Pat the True Truesdale, Rich the Great Sports Morpheus, and we got one of our new sponsors here with us, Mr. <laughs> Lemonhead himself. How you doing? How you doing? I was unaware of our new sponsor until today, so I was just trying to get caught up to speed. Can you tell us or the watchers who like what you what you got what you got going on? You're a former NFL player, so what are you doing now? Tell tell the folks out there who you are. Uh, I'm Lemonhead Stetson. I play with the Chicago Bears. Uh, from Texas Tech University and uh, Ebony Worth in high school out of Houston. Uh, half my family is from Galveston, the other half from the Houston area. So, uh, you know, straightforward guy, just like to have fun and uh, enjoy. So, and like the intercept passes from Dan Marino, too. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, so, tell us this how did you get the name Lemonhead? And tell us about the endorsement that you got when you were playing. Well, uh, to get the name Lemonhead, what happened was uh, they can't pronounce Lemuel. My first name is Lemuel, L-E-M-U-E-L. And uh, Mike Dicker couldn't get it right for nothing at all. The DB coaches, they call me Lemuel, Lemuel, and I don't else. feel bad because I literally <laughs> just had that problem. I was like. Yeah, and that's what that's pretty much how I got. So Coach Shaw was Lemonhead, you know, from Boston and now. So uh, just made it Lemonhead. <laughs> so uh, got a uh, – deal from Ferrari Pan Candy Company, uh, doing Lemonhead Candy, and ever since then, I've been nicknamed Lemonhead. That's over, what, 25, 30 years? Yeah. Man, 
That's so, cool. That's I remember in '84, we were in the yeah. We always went to Texas Tech. Tell us about that journey from work coming from Sunny Side. Oh, that's coming from coming from uh, Houston, where you know you go to Texas Tech. It's a whole big different atmosphere. You know, you've got you know going to all black school and just being there the whole time, and to end up being a uh, player coming in and meeting a lot of people. So getting that check, I've uh, played receiver all my life during uh, uh, high, high school and college. And then my last year of college, I played defensive back. And coach said I was a natural at it. So um, I just took four depth and got on the field and started working. I always had the speed. I was just a hun- only 150 pounds. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to hold him. Yeah. Guys, you had to hold Jerry Rice. Yeah, right. Like I said, I know you didn't play with Woody Golf, but you still have to play against him. Yeah. What did he go after that? Who was that? Like Willie Golf. Willie oh, Willie went to the Raiders. The Raiders I had something right. with Willie uh, when we played the Raiders. So uh, Willie was a fast receiver. Jerry Rice, you know, Sterling Shaw. I, I covered probably the top receiver in the league at that time. Yeah. There's some species out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. So tell us about the golf tournament. Oh, we, we do a golf tournament every year. What we do, we pick a foundation, an uh, organization that we'll donate to. And it's July the uh, 12th, uh, 2021. Uh, it's called Let Me Sense Foundation. And what we do is donate to organizations that can't raise money for themselves. Uh, we have a lot of guys like such as Rodney Hampton. And, uh, just We have over 30 NFL, NBA, and uh, uh, Olympic track stars. Yeah, Joe Oaks, you know, guys come out like that. So uh, we raise money for those guys. And then we call it Athletes for a Cause. So we, we don't try to pick one organization. We try to do a lot of organizations. So we go to different ones across the world. Tell me this. Tell me this. Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday. I always have to know who you're going with. Well, <laughs> you know, being a Texas Tech guy, you know, I pretty much have to uh, go with uh, my boy Mahomes because he's a Red Raider. But okay. for some reason, I think, you know, Brady's going to pull something out the back of his cheeks. <laughs> so I'm waiting nope. to see what's going to happen with Brady. So it's exciting. I think it's going to be a great game. Uh, I think uh, Texas Tech, you know, will prevail. Okay, okay. I'm a Red Raider, so I got to go with him more. I mean, I'm going with the Chiefs as well. Rich? I'm a realist. 28-24, <laughs> Bucks. <laughs> Got I'm just glad that someone came that's on the same side as me. So there you go. No problem. You good. <laughs> this is actually um two for two with our guests that are going for the Chiefs. So I mean right, all right. I don't know. I probably need to come up with something that I need to get whenever we win. Yeah, yeah. You got it. We're gonna come yeah. up with that. We're gonna come up with that. <laughs> all right, guys. So I wanna ask, I wanna do a little trivia here. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I, I wanna just throw some fun around. I mean what you guys? What you guys think? Y'all ready for some trivia? Yeah. Or y'all? Y'all want to answer my question, yeah, man, or y'all want to pick Sunday. someone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. My question is: Thanks to um, the Dolphins running back Larry Konska's close brush with injury, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. I don't. I don't know. I don't like that question. Let me. Let me. Talk about Larry one. Zonka. Yes. I don't know what they're asking me. I don't know what the question is asking. His final game was where? That's what the question is asking. <laughs> I was. He was on that team. He was on a. He was on the team that lost the Super Bowl with, with Dan Marino, wasn't he? That's the question. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's what I, I think. I think it is. Sure. I think that's Ooh. what it is. Y'all know what? Our which, interns, which, which, our interns might be, out I mean, like, which, our yeah. interns might be a, a little bit more. Um, yeah. I mean, which, which team? <laughs> these some these some these some tough questions. I mean, I which which uh, Super Bowl Marino lost? Marino lost about was two or three of them. Marino. No, Marino, Marino only went to one. No, I thought he went to two. Did he? No, he went to one. His rookie year. Yeah, and he lost, and he didn't go back. Oh, he did? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. So who he played? The, 40, the uh, Redskins? Yeah. And he played the 49ers, too. 86, wasn't it? No, 86, 87. Wow. Mm-mm. That was the Giants. That's the Giants. Yeah. No, we got wrong. 86? 86 was the Giants. I think right. the year after that, it was the 49ers beat the Dallas. 
We'll get back to it. Hey, anyway, Redskins. Yeah, that was the Redskins. I was like, that was like, we'll yeah. find the answer. And we'll post it on our page. <laughs> we are yeah. gonna come back. I'm gonna give. I got you. I got a real trivia question for you. I'm gonna get a good one when we come back from this commercial break. Y'all stay tuned. You're listening to the In the Tunnel Sports Talk Show. He hasn't said it yet. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna have to trade that man, man. I, don't th- I think the relationship is broken. Yeah. I hope it's not. I'm still gonna pull whatever team he goes for. That's gonna be my new team. It's, it hasn't made any sense. I, I think. I think really was it last Friday when they tweeted out that they was interviewing Josh McCown. Josh McCown. You have Aaron Rodgers as your quarterback. What do you do? What do you do? I'm going. I'm going for it. You going for it? I think I'll go for it. Even on Madden, I'm going for it. VIP Elite Motors is dedicated to offering high-quality pre-owned vehicles for their customers. From the moment you walk through their door, they're committed to providing you with a great car buying experience. With the skilled stale sales staff and financing options, they will help you get the vehicle that you want at the great price that you deserve. Go to their website, www.vipelitemotors.com, to pre-qualify without affecting your credit score. No social security number required. Browse their extensive inventory online and check out the featured vehicle section on the homepage. If you see a vehicle that you like, you can submit an online quote request or you can contact them to schedule a test drive. Give VIP Elite Motors a call today, 281-471-2800. That's 281-471-2800. They're at 1204 West Main Street in LaPorte, and tell them that In the Tunnel sent you to get your new ride. What's up, y'all? This is Richard Walker, the great sports Morpheus with In the Tunnel. We can represent your business for as little as $1 per day. That's $1, four quarters per day. Give us a call, 832-245-1050, 832-245-1050. Doesn't matter the size of your business, whether you got one customer or a million customers, we got something for you. Give us a call. We'd be happy to represent your business. Let them know that you are bringing your business out the tunnel. In the tunnel sports talk with the true Truesdale, Sierra the Sports Bay, and Rich the great sports Morpheus. Tune in Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. VIP Elite Motors is dedicated to offering high quality pre owned vehicles for their customers. From the moment you walk through their door, they're committed to providing you with a great car buying experience. With the skilled stale sales staff and financing options, they will help you get the vehicle that you want at the great price that you deserve. Go to their website, www.vipelitemotors.com, to pre-qualify without affecting your credit score. No social security number required. Browse their extensive inventory online and check out the featured vehicle section on the homepage. If you see a vehicle that you like, you can submit an online quote request, or you can contact them to schedule a test drive. Give VIP Elite Motors a call today, 281-471-2800. That's 281-471-2800. They're at 1204 West Main Street in LaPorte and tell them that In the Tunnel sent you to get your new ride. I got invited to this. Marino intercepted by Lemuel Stinson. Stinson. Tackled at the 33 by Tony Page. What was Mark Clayton thinking? He went down the field and never looked at Marino. It was their it was their favorite pattern between the two of these guys was the slant pass. Now watch Clayton look. He's blocking. He didn't have the right assignment. Everybody but Clayton knew where to go. I can't believe it. He's blocking and Marino's throwing. Stinson's third theft of the year. Hey, I like you hear my lot. In the tunnel. In the tunnel. In the tunnel. In the tunnel, in the tunnel, in, in the tunnel, in the tunnel, sports talk. All right, H Town, we are back. We are back. Uh, we're in the tunnel sports talk show. I'm Sports Bay. We got Lemon Hay still here kicking it with us. We got Pat the Truth Truth, and Rich the Great. 
Take the deck to the Yeah, during our quick break, uh, which, hey, he, you sh- y'all should have seen the reaction. He was so, he was like, where you get that from? It's very unexpected. You never know. If it's out there, I'll go find it. Let's talk about that clip. What was in that clip that got y'all so? Can we show them the clip on here? Is there a way to make it? Let's see if we can get them to run that clip again. Let's talk about what's in that clip that is so significant. Marino intercepted by Lemuel Stinson. Stinson tackled at the 33 by Tony Page. What was Mark Clayton thinking? He went down the field and never looked at Marino. It was their it was their favorite pattern between the two of these guys was the slant pass. Now watch Clayton look. He's blocking. He didn't have the right assignment. Everybody but Clayton knew where to go. I can't believe it. He's blocking and Marino's throwing. Stinson's third theft of the year. We're not li- no. Yes, we are live and we're right here at Over Under Sports Bar. We got Lemonhead. We were just talking about this clip that which dug up out of the dirt underground <laughs> sports world. Uh, and y'all was getting real lit about it. So we were just talking about what was in that clip that made it so significant. Like, and why are you so shocked that he found it? It's kind of hard to, you know, pull up stuff on you sometimes when you you old as I am. <laughs> oh no, we can I find mean, anything. The PCR and beta eight era. You don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Yeah, can we see it? Can yeah. we see it? Yeah. Beta eight. Did we just play the clip? We just played that clip during the break. I think we can run that clip one more time. What happened in that clip, Rich? Let's talk about that. Well, at, you gotta remember at the time, Mark Clayton and Dan Marino was the greatest at the time. They were the greatest wide receiver quarterback duo. That being time. a Robin. Yeah. Yeah, at the time. And their, their chemistry and their connection was just off the charts. But you can see off the snap, you basically kind of do burrito with that soft coverage you're playing. Yeah. And it looked like you were under the pressure as, as though they weren't even going to throw the ball that way. You were just kind of going through the motions, you know what I'm saying, with the choppiness of, you know, and everything the way that you, you played it. But as soon as you saw he turn that direction and look, they didn't have that angle. But I can see that you were reading him without giving him that signal. Yeah. And it's very hard to trick Dan Marino. Yeah. Very hard to trick him. But I mean, you suck him. You got an interception out of it. You like you was well, pretty you, fast out there. You still run yeah, like that? No, nah, I can't run like that. Hey, you see, like, I was a as you see, I was a little small the way they had, they tackled me at the end. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he does a fundamental sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> well, Kerry cool, could have blocked him, huh? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Dan Marino, he's a, he's a uh, great receiver. Nine times I'll tell you, you know, I, I, I thought I was good enough where they wouldn't throw my way all the time, but uh, they they. Decided to go that way that time, and uh, Mark Carey was breaking on the snatch, so I picked him up. So, I mean, not Mark Carey, uh, Mark Clay. Now I know he'll, he'll hate to hear that, but you know, he'll be here sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, because one of them live here, right? Yeah, Mark Clay. Mark Clay's uh, yeah. here in Duper. Uh, he's up in Louisiana somewhere. Right. And in Florida. So, right. we just we talk and have to, you know, uh, holler at each other a couple times like, a year. So, it, NFL is really like a fraternity. Oh, yeah, just like a fraternity, like that, you know, that alpha that I am. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got old six in the house. Hey, right? yeah, black hey, and gold, yeah. little black and gold. Ice, ice. <laughs> Man, I'm so glad that you're here to witness our first Super Bowl, but this is also the second Sip Show Ass Down Award. Rich, who has the honor of receiving that award? Ah, this week? the coveted. This is, this is better to me. This is better than the Lombardi Trophy. This is special. This is something that we, even though we do it every week, it's something that we take pride and joy in delivering. So without further ado, I think it's time for us. What's up, y'all? This is Richard Walker, the great sports Morpheus within the small bit. You sit your ass down. Man, sit your dumb ass down. Sir, could you uh, sit your African-American ass down? <laughs> Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> Your five dollar ass down before I make change. Sit your ass down.
So, without further ado, I would like to <laughs> congratulate the very first two-time winner of the In Eternal Sports Talk Sit Your Ass Down Award. It is none other than the Houston Texans front office. Oh, <laughs> sit your ass all the way down for the oh. way that you're treating Deshaun Watson. <laughs> now, today's latest episode of Texas Foolishness, they fired the equipment manager. Wow. For what? Because he's cool with Deshaun Watson. No way. Yeah. No I fear. know. What color is he? C come on. Come on. We, yeah, we, we know the that. answer to that. Oh. <laughs> like I keep saying. The Houston Texans are no longer a football organization. They are an extension of Lakewood Church. You go there every Sunday, you sit your ass down, you get nothing, you spend your money, and you go home brokenhearted the same way you walk in every single week. Because, baby, they have a lot of more demons to uh, fight than worried about the equipment coach. That's Man, first that's of all. Why is y'all fighting the equipment coach? This is just the like ticky tack, this. petty little bullshit that he likes to do to try to flex his muscles. He made it out. He made it clear to all, according to uh, Adam Schefter, he made it clear to all the NFL owners that they're not interested in trading Deshaun Watson, despite the fact that he clearly doesn't want to be there anymore. It's just continue to make a hot burning fire even hotter by continuing to throw these type of logs on them. And I don't understand the mindset or the mentality behind why they're trying to force this man to play for a team that he don't want to play for. They're yeah. holding him hostage, in my opinion. This is a hostage situation. What's, so what's going on right now? I'm trying to figure out. I think the trade going to go on all the way to draft because I'm trying to see what's up with the Jets. Well, you're missing opportunities because Carson Wentz is about to get moved. And this is the thing that I'm trying to understand, especially for guys like Carson Palmer and uh, who else was it they were in there about talking about? Uh, I think that was uh, Brent, Brent Farr also had the nerve to say, well, Deshaun Watson's wrong. He should just play out his contract. But you don't say a damn thing about Carson Wentz, the man in the trade. And Carson Wentz is trash. They're not going to say Carson that. Wentz think, should think, not even demand a trade for me. 